There is probably no other industry in the country that is as directly influenced by fire as forestry, Andrew. No, that's right, Nick. Fire and forestry go hand in hand. But the question is, how do the two interact? Well, there's some new research out which is providing us with some answers. Scientists agree that the forests of southern Australia are among the most fire prone anywhere on earth. What they're more divided over is the idea that timber harvesting can make these fires more likely and more intense. It's a notion that's appeared over the last 20 or so years. It's a notion that's always worried me because there's not much evidence to support it. And uh, so really we decided to analyse, it, analyse this hypothesis that logging creates drier forests and, and uh, then it's taken further that these drier forests are, are more flammable. Uh, so that by logging we're creating forests that are going to burn more easily. Um, I've always been concerned about that proposition and so we've decided to uh, look into it more carefully. Much of the data used to further the notion that forestry makes forests more fire prone was taken from the Northern Hemisphere. This new research, however, looks at the problem using local fire events. What we did particularly in this paper, I think, was to see the effects of the major fires in Victoria and in Western Australia. Uh, the major fires in Victoria were the 2003 Alpine fires and the 2007 Great Divide fires and then this awful fire we had on Black Saturday 2009. And so by using aerial imagery of the intensity of burns, we were able to test whether in fact logged areas burnt with greater intensity than non-logged areas. And this was just not so. The report concluded that harvesting was not a critical point in the fire proneness of a forest, but its fuel loading was, and its relationship with fire is exponential. Double the fuel load, quadruple the intensity of the fire. One of the first things that we have to think of in fire is, is first strike. Once the fire gets out of control, it's very difficult con to contain. The first strike, getting to the fire as soon as possible with local knowledge is very important. In the Victorian bush, much of that local knowledge is held by Vic Forest staff who often deal with fire in their day-to-day -day activities. Vic Forest is predominantly involved in um, probably what is called controlled prescribed burning, um, namely regeneration burns of our harvesting coops. Uh, but during the summer months, we're obviously called upon uh, by DEPI and working with other agencies to support fire suppression when the time comes. For non-operational staff, fire training is voluntary. Kira McCarthy is originally from Ireland and one of those head office staff who chooses to get her hands dirty. The 2009 fires were you know, headline news in, in Ireland um, before I came here. I come from an operational background. I've also seen the devastation caused by wildfire to landscape and communities and having the opportunity to assist with the fire suppression um, within the team is, is um, an important responsibility and you know, privilege as well to work with them. With Vic Forest staff, um, you know, the majority of the field uh, and regional staff have fire roles and, and we bring uh, a lot of knowledge about the uh, environment we work in, which is the forest here. Um, uh, access to, to forest logging roads as well as um, obviously our harvesting contractors play a very important role in first attack and suppression activities. If you take a drive through a working forest it becomes pretty clear what some of those assets that help fight fires are. You don't have to look far Andrew, you've got very heavy machinery, yep. dozers and excavators and that sort of thing for clearing brakes and also you've got the all important road infrastructure which enables firefighters to get to the fire front. So rather than compounding the problem, the forest industry provides much of the infrastructure and expertise in the critical first strike. While new internationally published research has rejected the idea that forestry increases fire proneness in our wet eucalypt forests. And at the front line, Vic Forest staff are trained to the highest standard in fire suppression. To find out more, log on to vicforests.com.au.